delamination risk in surface alkalinity has the same correlation than rain and wet. So that means if it rains, it will always be wet. But the other way around doesn't work. That means if it's wet, it does not necessarily mean that it has rained. So that also means if you have low surface alkalinity, it does not necessarily mean that you will have a low delamination propensity. Don't look at the surface alkalinity. If it's low, you might still have a risk of delamination. And we have shown that through specific vials where you could see you can have both combines in a vial. You can have low alkalinity, but still a risk of delamination. And those vials will also show delamination, which we have proven in predictive screening studies. There are still companies who are going that route. It was the first approach in 2010 and that was kind of a try to have a quantitative limit value but unfortunately is not the right one and we wanted to clarify that this is not the right approach with this article. So this article is a summary of what we have done in the last four or five years to uh, minimize the risk for delamination with a specific solution, the so-called delamination control vials. But it also makes clear what are the right criteria to find the right container that later on you will not see delamination. And it's a positioning also to clarify that the so-called approach of a low alkalinity or low EP is not the right approach because we have shown that through some screening studies that the right criteria is another one, that is the so-called delamination quick test, which is a measure of the delamination propensity and not the surface alkalinity. And that's what we wanted to clarify in this specific article. Shot. Glass made of ideas.